Zoho Sites Tutorial – How to Build a Website Using Zoho Sites Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Zoho Sites. Zoho Sites is an incredibly powerful and user-friendly website builder that requires no coding knowledge. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Zoho Sites, the first step is to create an account. To do this, go to sites.zoho.com and once you're on the home page, you will find options to sign up for a new account. Zoho Sites offers multiple registration methods. You can choose to sign up using your email address, Google account, or LinkedIn. Select your preferred option and follow the on-screen instructions to create your new Zoho Sites account. After successfully signing up for a new Zoho Sites account, the next step is to create your first website. To begin, enter the desired name for your website in the designated Name Your Website field. Additionally, you will need to select the appropriate category for your website from the available options listed below. Once you have provided these details, click on the Choose Theme button. By clicking the Choose Theme button, you will be directed to another page specifically designed for selecting a template for your website. On this page, you will come across various types of templates, including both single-page and multiple-page options. Take your time to explore these templates and choose the one that resonates with your vision for your website. To get a closer look at a particular template, hover your cursor over it and two options will appear, Customize and Live Demo. If you select Customize, you will be redirected to the Zoho Website Editor, where you can personalize and modify the chosen template to suit your preferences and requirements. However, if you opt for the Live Demo option, you will be directed to another page where you can preview and experience a live demonstration of the selected template. In this tutorial, we will be selecting the first template available, so we'll proceed by clicking on the Customize option. Upon clicking Customize, you will be directed to another page where you can further customize the chosen template to your liking. On this new page, you can select the colors, fonts, header style, and banner style for your website. Begin by choosing a set of colors from the four options provided. This selection will determine the color scheme of your website. Next, you can choose a set of fonts from the options available. This choice will define the typography and appearance of your website's text. Take your time to consider the various font sets and select the one that best complements your website's style and content. Moving on, you will need to pick a header style from the header style section. This selection will determine the design and layout of the header section of your website. Additionally, you will need to choose a banner style from the banner style options. This choice will determine the visual presentation of the banner section on your website. Once you have finalized your color scheme, font selection, header style, and banner style, you can proceed by clicking on the Finish button. It may take a moment to redirect you to the editor after clicking Finish. When it comes to customizing the home page of your website, it's important to keep in mind that it serves as the first point of contact for your visitors. Therefore, you want to create a home page that is clear, visually appealing, and easy to navigate. One way to achieve this is by organizing your home page into clear and concise sections, allowing visitors to find what they're looking for without having to dig too deep. By utilizing the footer and header effectively, you can enhance the overall user experience. Zoho Sites provides a drag-and-drop builder as the primary tool for building your website. This builder allows you to easily customize your home page and other web pages. It's helpful to conceptualize your website as a composition of sections with each section containing various elements. Sections in Zoho Sites are pre-designed layout templates that you can stack together to create your web pages. These templates offer a variety of options to choose from, enabling you to select the ones that best fit your content and design preferences. By utilizing sections, you can easily structure your home page and ensure a consistent layout across your website. Elements, on the other hand, refer to the individual components that make up your website, such as text, images, audio, and video. Each element in Zoho Sites comes with a range of customization options, allowing you to tailor them to your specific needs. Whether it's adjusting the font style and size of text, modifying the dimensions and placement of images, or fine-tuning the settings of audio and video elements, you have the flexibility to customize each element according to your preferences. First of all, edit the navigation menu. To edit the navigation menu in your website's header, you can follow these steps. First, go to the Settings section and locate the Customize option. Under Customize, you will find a tab labeled Menus. Click on it. Here you will see that the default menu is automatically selected as your header's navigation menu. To add or rearrange items in the navigation menu, you can make changes within this menu editor. To add a new item, simply click on Add Menu Item. Enter the name of the menu item, which will be displayed as text in your header. 
Then choose the specific page you want this menu item to link to. This allows visitors to navigate directly to the desired page. Make sure to review the changes and ensure they align with your intentions. Once you have made the necessary customizations to your header's navigation menu, don't forget to save the changes. Look for the Save button or option to ensure that your modifications are successfully implemented. After you have completed the editing of your header's navigation menu, you can move on to customizing the various sections and elements of your home page. One aspect you can focus on is customizing the text displayed on your website. To customize the text, you can click on the specific text element that you wish to modify. By clicking on it, a set of options will appear, allowing you to make adjustments to the text. These options include changing the font type, size, and style, as well as applying formatting such as italicizing or underlining the text. These customization options are applicable to different types of text elements such as headings, paragraphs, and more. This means that you can utilize the same method across your website to ensure consistency in the text styling throughout your website. Once you customize the text, it's time to customize the background image. Customizing the background image of each section on your website is a straightforward process. To begin, click on the image within the section you wish to modify. This action will prompt several options to appear, including the ability to move, copy, modify settings, or delete the section. To change the background image specifically, click on the Settings option. By selecting the image within the section, a pop-up window will appear. Within this window, locate the Change Image option to proceed with altering the background image for that particular section. This functionality allows you to replace the existing image with a new one, providing flexibility and customization across your website. Feel free to repeat this process to change the background image of any section you desire. Moving on, customizing buttons within your website follows a similar procedure. Simply click on the button element you want to modify, and you will encounter the same set of options that appeared for the background image. Click on the Settings option to access the button customization settings. Within the settings, you can make various adjustments to the button's appearance and functionality. This includes altering the alignment, type, size, style, and link associated with the button. By utilizing these customization options, you can ensure that buttons on your website align with your desired aesthetics and serve their intended purpose effectively. If you wish to customize the footer of your homepage, navigate to the bottom of the page and locate the footer section. Click on the Edit Footer button to initiate the customization process. Once clicked, you will gain access to modify various elements within the footer, such as the image, social media links, and names of the pages of your website. This allows you to personalize the footer area and provide additional information or branding elements. Remember, the process for customizing the other pages on your website follows the same procedure as customizing the home page. The plus button located at the top left corner of the editor in Zoho Sites serves as a versatile tool for adding various types of content to enhance your website. By clicking on this button, you can access a range of options including pre-built sections, blog posts, forms, and pages. Adding sections to your website is a convenient way to enhance its design and layout. With Zoho Sites, you have access to various pre-designed layouts that can help you quickly and easily create a visually appealing website. Upon selecting this option, you will notice that sections are categorized for your convenience. You can click on any of the categories to explore specific sections that align with your design goals. For instance, if you click on the Heading category, you will see a selection of sections that contain headings. Browse through the available options and choose the section that suits your preferences. Once you have made your selection, simply click on the chosen section and it will automatically be added to your website. After adding the section, a pop-up window will appear, presenting you with a range of customization options. This allows you to further personalize the section you added according to your specific requirements. With these customization options, you can adjust the layout, colors, font, and other visual elements to match your desired design aesthetics and overall website's theme. Adding elements to your website allows you to structure and arrange your content effectively. Zoho Sites offers a diverse range of elements to choose from, including text, images, buttons, dividers, audio, video, and more. These elements provide flexibility in creating a visually appealing and engaging web page. To add elements to your page, start by navigating to the top left corner of the editor and clicking on the plus element button. This action will open a tray containing different types of elements, such as text, images, icons, buttons, and more. Simply choose the desired element and drag it from the tray onto your page. 
By utilizing the drag and drop functionality, you can easily position elements in the desired locations. Once you have added an element to your page, you have the ability to edit it as needed. To reposition an element, click on it and use the four point arrow that appears to move it to a new location on the page. If you wish to remove an element, click on it and then click the trash icon to delete it from the page. In addition to basic editing, each element comes with its own set of customization options. These tools can be found alongside the element after it has been added to your page. Alternatively, they will appear when you click on the specific element. These customization options allow you to tailor the element's appearance, behavior, and styling to suit your preferences. They may include features such as custom CSS, animation, style editor, and element visibility, providing you with a comprehensive toolkit to refine and enhance the elements on your page. Adding pages to your website is a fundamental step in building a comprehensive and organized website structure. To add pages in Zoho Sites, follow these steps. Begin by navigating to the top left corner of the editor and clicking on the plus button. This action will reveal a menu where you should click on plus page. Upon selecting plus page, a new window will appear where you can enter the desired page name and URL in the respective fields. This allows you to define the title and address of the page within your website's navigation. Additionally, Zoho Sites offers optional page settings that you can enable according to your needs. These settings include options for SEO optimization, menu customization, header and footer code insertion, banner configuration, and sidebar settings. You can choose to enable these settings to enhance the functionality and appearance of your pages, but they are not mandatory. Once you have entered the necessary information and configured the optional settings, click on the Add button. This action will finalize the process and the new page will be successfully added to your website, expanding its overall structure and content. To manage the pages within your website, you can access the Pages section. Located on the top left side of the editor, click on Pages to access a comprehensive overview of all the pages you have added to your website. This centralized view allows you to easily browse and interact with your pages without needing to navigate to each page individually from the main menu. Within the Pages section, you have several options for managing your pages. To delete, move, or clone a page, simply click the checkbox located on the left of the page, and then select the desired action from the available options. This streamlined page management process empowers you to efficiently organize and modify your website's structure and content as needed. Adding blog posts to your website is an effective way to engage your audience and increase your website's visibility. Blogs provide a platform for interaction and can attract more visitors to your site. To add a blog post to Zoho Sites, follow these steps. To begin, locate the plus button at the top left corner of the editor and click on it. From the options that appear, click on plus blog post. This action will open a new window where you can create your blog page. Click on the create a blog button to proceed. To access your blog page and manage your posts, click on Post Preferences in the menu at the top of the builder. This will take you to the blog page where you can view and add posts. To add a new post, click on Add a new post on the blog page. This will allow you to create a new blog post and start adding content. In the Post Editor, you can select different elements to add content to your post. These elements can include text, images, videos, and more. Customize your post by adding a title in the post URL field. You can also add tags, select a cover image, and schedule your post by adjusting the options in the pop-up box. Once you have finished creating your blog post, click on the Publish Post button located at the top right corner of the editor. This action will post your blog, but please note that it won't go live until your entire website is published. The Visual Editor in Zoho Sites provides a user-friendly interface for making site-wide changes to your website's design and layout. To access the Visual Editor, click on the blue arrows located on the right side of the screen and select Visual Editor. Within the Visual Editor, you have the flexibility to customize various aspects of your website. This includes choosing default colors and fonts for elements across your sites, determining the layout of your site's header, and making other important design decisions. By making these choices early on, you can establish a cohesive visual style that resonates throughout your entire website. It's important to note that the decisions you make in the visual editor are not set in stone. If you decide to change your mind or update your website's design elements in the future, you can always return to the visual editor and edit these elements accordingly. This flexibility allows you to adapt and refine your website's visual style as your needs and preferences evolve. 
By utilizing the visual editor in Zoho Sites, you can easily make site-wide changes and create a visually cohesive website. This tool empowers you to establish and modify the colors, fonts, and layout of your website, ensuring a consistent and visually appealing user experience for your visitors. Before publishing your website, it's important to preview it to gain insights into its design and user experience. To do this, simply click on the Preview button located in the top right corner of the builder. By generating a replica of your website, you can see how it will appear to your visitors before making it live. With Zoho Sites, every website you create is automatically optimized for mobile devices. This means that your website will look great and function smoothly on various devices, including phones, tablets, and desktops. To ensure the mobile responsiveness of your site, you can use the preview filter to see how it will look on different devices and make any necessary adjustments. Once you have completed designing your website and are satisfied with its appearance and functionality, it's time to publish it. By clicking on the green Publish button, your website will be made available for users to visit. This step is crucial in making your website accessible to the public, regardless of the device they are using. To publish your website, you will need a domain name. A domain name is a unique web address that users will use to access your site. It's recommended to choose a domain name that is relevant to the nature of your website and reflects its purpose. If you don't already have a domain, you will need to configure one before your site can go live. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Zoho Sites. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found this guide helpful and informative in your website creation journey. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can.